Hi, my name is Matt Goldwater, and today I'll be taking you through this week's questions and answers session with us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you a number of different advanced selection tools on this torch assembly. They're found at the very top in this flyout menu, and the first one is Select. Now that's default on, it's just your left mouse button. We can do a Select All, which will select all the top level components like you can see in our feature tree. Our next configuration is talking about just selecting the internal components. So if I go up to my Selection tool, I can go down and I can select just internal components. So anything that's covered by another component completely will be highlighted like it is in the graphics area, and highlighted in our feature tree. That will enable us to hide all those components. Go to our next configuration, and what we want to see is just this body. Now if I right click on this component here, we have this option select subassembly. That highlights it in the graphics area, and enables us to then hide it from our assembly. We can then do our options, either box selection or lasso. They both do the same thing, just a different shape. Now I'm going to go right, uh, left to right, which will make all the components that are inside the box selectable. Then we could hide. Now I'm going to show you right to left, which will mean that any component that gets touched by this selection box will highlight, which then we can hide. Now we can also hide or select components by hovering over them and selecting tab. That will hide that component. Now if we accidentally hide a component that we want to bring back, we can just go over where it was with our mouse icon and shift tab and it'll bring it back into play. Our next configuration is just talking about the head. I want just the head visible so I'll right click select subassembly like we did before but this time I want to right click and invert selection to select all the other components that are not part of that subassembly. Right click, hide. Our next configuration is talking about the hardware. So I want to select all the components that are tools, so select Toolbox. That will highlight in the graphics area and in the feature tree down the bottom here, like so. Now I don't want to hide them just yet using that option. I want to show you another one, which is uh, Volume, uh, sorry, not Volume Select, Select by Size. Now 30% of our model is selected, like you can see here, but the tools are a little bit smaller than that, so maybe we're looking at something like 15%. There you go. 15% is our toolbox component, so we can then right click and hide those. Clip position. Now it's not really a multiple select tool, but you can see that the clip doesn't move up and down. If I right click on the clip, I can do view mates. It's another way we can actually select mates. The tangent one here is causing it to stay in place, so we can use the call out and suppress. That will enable us to grab that clip and move it into a new position. Our next configuration is Volume Select. And we have our Volume Select found here. With it selected, all we have to do is do a selection box over where we want it to be, which will create a sort of cube. Then we can grab the edges of our cube using the arrows to go over the components that we want to select. And you can see when a component is completely submerged in the cube, it highlights. That enables us to give it a, say, a transparency. To turn the tool off, just click in the graphics area, and there you are. The next configuration is Select Mated 2. Now I want the uh, components that are mated to this rim here selected. So we can use our selection tool, Select Mated 2. By selecting that component, it highlights the components that are mated to it. We can see the lens is one of them, and I just want to hide that one. There you go. Our next configuration is select all the hidden components in this assembly. So we can use our select hidden tool. Now we're just going to highlight the one that we just uh, hidden, which is that lens. We can't see it in the graphics area, obviously, because it's hidden, but we can see it's highlighted in the feature tree. Just a matter of bringing it back. Our last one is advanced selection. Now I've changed the transparency of some of these so you can see the components inside. But basically we're going to use the last option that we're going to go through and that's advanced selection. Opens up a dialog box which is split into two tabs, define search criteria and manage searches. We're going to enter our search criteria here and we're going to save it and the saving position is going to be here. Now whenever you save it, 
it will be there forever in SolidWorks. Uh, it's not going to be just for this assembly, so you can use it in multiple assemblies. Now, our first, sorry, our first search criteria will be, let's say, the component status. We'll look for components that are equal to being, say, underdefined with their mates. Now, we can also have another line, or we could look for components that maybe have custom properties. What custom properties? Description. And let's look for components that don't have the custom properties description. So is not and blank. We'll give that a save and we'll call it search. Save it. And you can see the, um, oh, that's not there. We'll have to reopen it. Give that an apply. Close it off. And you can see all the components that fit into our criteria.